Hello everyone, so we finally have the classic Resident Evil games for the PC. That's um, <clears throat> legally. The trilogy is only $25 on GOG. What is GOG you ask? What is it? Well, it's basically like Steam, but for classic games, but you can play these games offline, making them yours to keep forever and ever. I'm not sponsored for this video in any way. I mean, come on, let's let's be real here. So after playing Resident Evil 1996 for GOG, I want to give you guys the good, the bad, pretty much everything in between about the classic trilogy. Or I should say Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2, and Resident Evil 3 Nemesis are going to come out on GOG down the line at some time. We don't have a confirmation date of when, but we know they are coming. But I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys and some of what I'm going to say is going to be my personal opinion. So do not come at me with pitchforks, don't get upset at me, this is just my opinion. But anyway, so let's start with the good first. First, I want to say that if you want more of these collections, if you want a potential Code Veronica remaster, Outbreak remaster, Resident Evil Dead Aim remaster for some godforsaken reason, then now is the opportunity to voice your opinions by buying a copy yourself. I feel like the more people buy this, the more attention it will create to get brand new remasters for classic titles. Another good thing is the rebirth patch working for the GOG version. If you don't necessarily know what the rebirth patch is, it basically just makes the game a ton better by adding features that were not in the original game. For example, you can disable cutscenes for I don't know what reason you want to do that for. You can change the resolution. Basically, you have more creative control for these titles while it makes quality of life improvements. Another good is the list of things GOG added to the trilogy, like being able to change the localization of the game from English to Japanese, English to German, new rendering options like anti-aliasing and V-Sync, which were obviously not in the original titles and as much as i love these versions of the game so so freaking much i do want to point out the bad of these titles one of them being the resident evil 2 version that we are going to get for gog is not going to be the definitive version of resident evil 2 which is the source next version which is also a japanese only release but that's where the rebirth patch comes in and it completely overhauls it to english another bad is a pretty big one in my opinion and that's the trilogy not being on consoles considering how popular and how freaking popular the trilogy was for the playstation 1 and honestly i would love a physical copy of the og games just like the tomb raider collection and i know i know a lot of people do mention the Tomb Raider collection, but that's a perfect representation of what most Resident Evil fans want in a collection. The blueprint is there, Capcom, just saying. Another bad is just how bare bones the trilogy is going to be, how Resident Evil 1 was. Um, this is more of a nitpick from me because personally, because a lot of people who are buying this want to experience this game how they did many years ago and don't really care much of a change outside of, well, graphical improvements which i 100 understand i get a lot of people don't want their classical games being touched whatsoever and i i 100 agree with that i i get that people do want the feeling of resident evil as they felt when they were a child or played it for the very first time so i i completely get it but i'm talking in a 2024 remaster perspective or hell give it an option to switch between classical or remaster I don't necessarily think that these ports are bad in any way, shape, or form. I'm actually, I actually glad that they do exist. Overall, I'm extremely happy that these re-releases exist. I'm glad Capcom are finally opening up to the idea of Resident Evil remasters. We've taken the first baby steps. We're not there yet, but at least it's something. And these games are finally, finally getting some recognition after years and years of just completely being ignored. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have to say about these um ports i again I'm, I'm really glad that they do exist but i feel like we deserve a little bit more i feel like with games like tomb raider out or tomb raider collection is out we need something like that for the classical resident evil games and not only that but i'm pretty sure we would appreciate physical copies as well but that's pretty much what i have to say about it let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed the video like the video if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel and make sure to be nice to someone today most importantly but i'm gonna catch you guys on the next time and until then peace